Hi everyone, it's Nisha. Sorry there was no video yesterday, but I was very busy and in so much pain. I know I'm not going to bore you anymore. Yes, my back is bad again and <laughs> I keep putting off going to the doctor because if you live in the UK, to get to your doctor, I just feel ill thinking about making an appointment. So I've made one and the earliest I can get is in two weeks time. Hopefully by then I'm not paralyzed. <laughs> I, will, I will try maybe tomorrow to phone for an emergency appointment because I need to uh, be referred to a physiotherapist or someone like that. I have private insurance cover, but they obviously want you to be referred by your GP. So anyway, enough of that. What made me make this video? I've been thinking about it a lot. I cannot stand a bad service. Anywhere, supermarket, clothes shops, makeup shops, it drives me crazy. I have never been to the States, but I've been told that um, you get fantastic customer service there. Um, in England, is a bit hit and miss. I think that sales assistants need more training. They seem to be employing just anybody especially on Saturdays and we always call them the Saturday girl, the Saturday boy because these are just people that don't have any clue, any training and because no one else wants to work on Saturdays they employ these people and Saturdays are usually the busiest times for shopping because we all work during the week so I think that's when you should have the most skilled experienced sales assistants so why I've decided to make this video. So a few days ago, I went to my local supermarket and I've put my stuff on a conveyor belt and it was my turn and the lady on the till was very, very nice. She was very friendly, but too familiar. So she started asking me questions. Obviously I've got an accent. So her first question was where I was from which I was happy to tell her. And then she asked me how long I've been here. Am I married? Is my husband English? Have I got children? How did I meet my husband? Was it love from first sight? Because she's never experienced that. And I was like, and it's too much. But I couldn't be horrible to her. I didn't want to say anything because at the same time she was really sweet and and like really nice so I don't know what you were doing that um, in that situation I was even thinking maybe afterwards I should have gone to one of the managers and said something to her but then I thought well she probably get told off and I don't know I didn't want to get her in trouble but at the same time I thought this is not right and I think it is so hard to get to get it right we all have different needs and we all perceive good customer service differently. I don't like, when I walk into the shop, I just put one foot into the shop and I say, can I help you? And I want to turn around, can I help you? Because I really think I could. How can you help me? I haven't even walked into the shop, I don't know if I need your help, leave me alone. So I do like helpful assistants, I, look, I like knowledgeable assistants, but ones that don't invade my private space and respect my space. So what I would like to here when I walk into the shop is hello, good morning, good afternoon. Just say hello and say if you need any help I'm here please ask and that's all I need in any shop. I hate it when they all over you constantly. I imagine okay so if I go and shop for makeup or skincare and obviously 
in Sephora I think you're quite free and everything is set out in like a buffet style that you can go and look yourself. Uh, here if you go to a big department store you have uh, like the separate counters and you will always have an assistant on each counter or not that's another thing um, and as soon as you start looking at something they there and I understand they need to sell things but it's how you do it you again say hello good morning good afternoon if you need any help I will be here and walk away I understand it's very, very fine line between being helpful and being annoying. When I went to Spain and I walked into one of the drug stores um, and the sales assistant was following me, I swear like sitting on my shoulder, I felt like I was a thief, like she was trying to see if I'm going to steal something and run away. And I felt so uncomfortable, I, like she was like my shadow, so I just walked out. That's why I think there isn't enough training out there. Selling is not easy. Selling is not something anybody can do. It's an art. And don't get me wrong, I get good assistance and I really, really appreciate it. But only if I ask for it. So... One day we were buying um, this speciality keyboard for Max for his, it's a gaming keyboard basically for computer games. And he sort of knew what he wanted. He, he knew what he wanted this keyboard to be able to do. But of course we've got no clue. So I went up to, to the cell assistant and asked him the question and he just stood there so knowledgeable told us everything what we wanted to know answered any questions and when we said thank you he left us to it he said um, if you need anything else I will be over there and I love that and I give credit where credit is due I actually said to him because of course we bought the keyboard I said, this is so unusual, but this was like the best service we have received in a long time. Let me tell you about another experience at um, Bare Minerals counter. So I was looking at, I think there were the new Moxie glosses that come out. This was a while ago now. One of them was... Um, the one that I have, um, Miss Popular, I think. So it was in that collection. So they were quite new. And so I was looking at them and this young girl, she had bare minerals on her uniform or whatever. So I suppose she knows what she's talking about. She must have been trained by bare minerals. And I asked her, do you know if these new glosses are exactly the same, like the original ones? Uh, they give you give you the minty taste and the, the tingling sensation. I don't know. She said, um, you will have to tell me when you try it. I was so gobsmacked. I didn't know what to say. I don't know. Basically, she said, I don't know. Buy it, try it, and you tell me if it's the same. Then I asked her um, about something else. Oh yeah, that's it. They had like a little container with some different lipsticks and glosses. And I said, what, what is that? She said, oh, um, I don't know. I think this is discontinued. So, And I just asked a few questions and all she could tell me was that she didn't know that I should try it and tell her. And she thought it was hilarious, you know. And things like that just drive me crazy. When you go to buy skincare and they come out with all these big words that they probably don't understand themselves, telling you such, such rubbish, they're not facts at all, just something that they've memorized that it sounds good to someone that doesn't know what, what it is all about. And I feel that that's so wrong because there is so many people out there 
that really don't know what they're looking for. You know, I love to research things, Google things. So when I go out, I usually know what the things do. Do I need them? What I want? But there is so many people out there that don't. And if they come up to a untrained, misleading sales assistant that start using big words that probably mean nothing to that person but they sound good they sell these things without informing people properly another thing that really drives me crazy is people chewing gum sales assistants chewing gum when they speak to you um that was actually another incident in Bare Minerals and it was an encounter, it was a standalone Bare Minerals boutique. Um, and when you walk in, there was like a, a big, like a reception desk where, where the till is and everything. And this one girl was standing there. And while I was looking around the shop, Another girl, and they were quite young, was sitting behind that counter on the floor eating a sandwich. I walked out straight away. I, I really don't like the confrontation. I don't like to complain too much. But I think we should because we pay good money for the stuff we buy and for good service. And if we don't complain, nothing is going to change. So that was awful, her eating sandwich in that shop. Then again, in a supermarket, while the lady on the till is scanning your stuff, sitting there, going like this, talking to you, chewing gum. I, fa I hate people chewing gum full stop. I, I just don't like it unless you do it very gracefully, like, <laughs> but not like this. I hate it when Max when Max does it. So it happens everywhere, not just makeup shops, clothes shops, everywhere. Um, another day, because I just had to upgrade my phone, I've, I just got the Samsung S5 because it was due for upgrade. And I wanted to change a provider. My friend advised me to go with O2, which I did. And we walked into O2 mobile phone shop and um, first of all there was no one to see us because one of the assistants was with a customer so we were just standing there suddenly this girl came out looking like i mean now you wouldn't know she was working for for this company because the way she was dressed it looked like she was just cleaning her house and she walked out with hands in her pockets and she talked to us with hands in her pockets, call me old fashioned, <laughs> but I think good manners and good service cost nothing. And she wasn't very helpful. So we just walked out across from that shop, went to Carphone Warehouse, which I received, in which I received fantastic service. Um, and I still went with O2, but obviously I bought the phone through Carphone Warehouse, not the O2 shop. So, yes, I am very, very disappointed every day on daily basis. I more often receive bad service than good. So, yes, I think it is a very difficult to get the balance between being friendly, helpful and too familiar or plain rude. And I just think that sales assistants need more training. Um, I would like to know what experiences have you had because I'm sure there is lots of you out there that had um, unpleasant and funny experiences. And what do you consider a good customer service? Uh, I would like to, if you could put it all in comments, I'm sure I'll enjoy reading that and and everybody else can read each other's comments i think it would be quite fun so that was my rant for today my vlog but it feels feel so good to let it out <laughs> thank you very much for watching and i see you soon bye